Hello everyone, this is Solomon. I wanted to briefly let you know that you can always message me on my Facebook page or email me with a private message to set up a reading that will tap into your specific energy or the energy of a potential relationship that you are concerned about or maybe one that you're currently in. Uh, we can see what may be going on with your current situation as these messages are general and for many people around the world and may not speak directly to you. So you can always get that information with the links in the description below. And I want to send some love and I really hope you have a great week. I want to send some healing vibes out and hope that you receive it. Thanks a lot. Hello, Gemini. These are your messages for the week of July the 4th to the 10th of 2016. I feel many of you could be, you know, feeling very uh, egotistical this week. Maybe due to some anger or maybe rage that you have uh, with someone. These could be children that some of you are dealing with within a family situation. Uh, some younger children or siblings. I feel that uh, one could be an air sign. Um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius that you're not happy with. Um, and another a child, maybe a, a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this also could be in uh, a romantic, two romantic partners, and maybe you're indecisive about commitment to either one. I feel that you have a lot of racing emotions, a lot of uh, thought patterns that are uh, continuing to uh, take over your life at this time. And you're healing from some issues from the past. And when I say ego struggle, I mean that you may be, uh, you know, very reluctant to open up to this person. You may be very argumentative. This could be with family members, a love potential. Um, but I feel that there are issues where you don't feel like you're getting the attention that you deserve. You don't feel like you're being treated fairly or things are just not going in your favor. And this is causing you to be very resentful and, you know, feel that you have to um, get some kind of attention from somewhere. You know, it's not a it's not a bad thing. It's just, you know, some emotions happen in that way. And it's due to some pain that has been taking hold for some of us so i hope that you do um heal from what you're going through um i do feel that there's some type of insecurities for some of you out there maybe image wise uh maybe just don't feel good about yourself uh maybe financially um physically emotionally uh you may be just uh, having some negative thought patterns that are just profound right now and i feel that they are some of the lingering energies that may be uh, going throughout the week and uh, some of you could be very unhappy with uh, two options in love that you have uh, but maybe some of you are feeling good about uh, one of these people but they are just rubbing you the wrong way for numerous different reasons and you're healing from some uh, issues from the past okay so in the beginning of the week um, and I do invite you to come back throughout the week from uh, to see how the energy may fluctuate and I do read these cards from left to right um, I sense that some of you could be very, uh, could be feeling materialistic in a way with your finances as you try to balance your home life, work life, and maybe a potential relationship. I feel that some could be actually dealing with some siblings uh, or actual children in your life and you're not happy with the father or maybe you are not feeling like you're a fit mother. Maybe that's the, an issue that's going on or... Um, if these are males out there and you have a, a child who is not parented correctly or you feel like you haven't done your just do in a relationship or uh, marital situation, I feel that some of these things may come to the surface from past issues of okay, a you know, with involving children. And maybe you have talked about some divorces or uh, court and legal matters and you have lost your temper and lost your cool in a case and maybe you are uh, not open to committing to another relationship or something like that due to some issues you are not resolving right now from the past. Some of you could be dealing with a uh, an earth sign that's a Capricorn Virgo Taurus who may be very materialistic, uh, aggressive, uh, controlling, maybe be very high strung in his uh, own beliefs and stubborn in a way. I feel that uh, some of you could also be very much focus on a fire sign in your life who you are trying to open up a new relationship with um, a, a Leo Sagittarius or Aries 
maybe this person uh is, you know is very giving very kind and on the other hand they could be seeming selfish in a way maybe you're losing your temper towards this person but i'm also really much picking this energy up for you in a way because things are not going in your favor maybe you have a uh, thought of some traveling to get away from some issues that you have been going through and just trying to get away from some tense uh, discussions or uh, matters in your home life or relationship that you're trying to maybe run away from and I feel that you're reluctant to open up to anyone new due to uh, a lot of circumstances but with the sun here it's trying to say that beneath all of this within all of the darkness the dark energy that's uh, going on in your eyes that you know the sun is there is trying to come through um and it does speak about a new relationship and new happiness on offer once you can actually get through and heal a lot of uh, past resentments or issues that you have uh, due to a lot of debt or maybe things you have to pay off. Uh, and these does seem to be maybe some legal matters coming through. Okay. In the middle of the week, I feel, you know, a lot of the over emotional attitude, maybe some tears or uh, pain may be coming through as it does seem to be maybe dealing with not being able to see eye to eye with a lover or potential as uh, it could be a secret relationship going on uh, for many different reasons. Maybe the other person is just not willing to open up and uh, proceed into a new relationship and commit right now. And I feel that the energy could be very much focused on your financial matters. Again, in the middle of the week, uh, you know, some future planning, trying to balance again the home life and work life. I feel you could be uh, traveling uh, by car, you know, maybe by, by road, traveling uh, to see a person, to discuss some things. They could be actually coming to you in the middle of the week. Maybe you're traveling with an, an ex or a uh, a spouse for court matters. Maybe you're seeing each other in court because there's some unfinished business there, but you're still isolating yourself in the middle of the week uh, due to a lack of closure. You know, something just ha has not ended. And it does seem to be maybe a breakup or separation in love. It could be a three-way situation. I want to mention a Virgo, as I mentioned, the earth sign in the beginning here. But emotionally, you are not in the best state. You know, a bit closed off. Um, emotional growth is something that spirit is showing that's needed uh, in this situation. As there could be some uh, disputes and arguing. Um, this could be in many different cases amongst friends, family, or in love here with these combinations okay but a lot of soul searching is going on so you could be around friends and family in the middle of the week and this is make, maybe making you tense during some disagreements that you all may have be having so um make sure you use your intuition to make logical decisions don't let let your emotions cloud your uh, judgment okay and try not to judge people um harshly in a way and don't judge yourself negatively because you are going through what you're going through everybody's entitled to feel how they feel but don't allow that to have you isolate yourself and you know not enjoy life as life can be very short okay towards the end of the week throughout the weekend uh, defensiveness again you know looking out for possible trouble or conflict a you know a feeling of frustration is coming from your end as something has you uh, very tense and on the lookout for trouble, I feel that um, this does involve uh, maybe preg pregnancy or um, younger children around you in your home environment. I feel that it could be some issues on the job, on the work front, where you're having to walk away or maybe leave a job that you're not really interested in anymore. Maybe you're trying to work on something of your own uh, in an independent kind of way. Uh, you know, there could be, you know, issues with, you know, just not being comfortable. You know, you're not comfortable at home. You're trying to financially secure yourself, find better arrangements that suit you in whatever situation you may be in or going through when it comes to comfort. Uh, maybe some there's some delays in travel, some frustration going on. Maybe you're defensive about that, but I feel many of you could be uh, very unhappy with that fire sign. As a younger individual, maybe you are older than them some of you out there but there's also a resistance to change like you're unable to move on from something that has not worked out and this could be a marriage and you're feeling uh very emotionally distraught from it this is for many of you out there and i feel there could be some immaturity emotional immaturity coming from a partner of potential okay 
and with that you are very disappointed and having to walk away from a situation but on the other hand it's like you know you're not able to see your way right out of it because you're not sure if you should leave or you should stay because maybe there's some hope and some um some signs there that's saying that you should give it a try or you should try again maybe temptation is there to hold on to something that you know is unhealthy for you you know that's what the will of fortune is in reverse is saying you know uh, there's some outside influences that may not be going in your favor some in interference with maybe a third party or something of that nature that could be the case but i feel that you are maybe you know working on something you know, working towards the goal and trying to make sure that it's not being interfered by someone else, an outside party, or someone is not trying to stick their hands into a relationship that's, you know, on the up and up. You know, someone from your past, maybe you're frustrated about it. You're focused on the long term, or if you're not, the advice from spirit is to focus on long term vision and not the short term gratification or satisfaction. Okay? So. I do want to send some love out, okay? And know that it is safe to move on from things that are just not serving you. Step away from it. Okay, if it's meant to be, it'll unfold in a natural state. I do want to read a card for you from Romance Angels, Doreen Virtue. It says, uh, Romantic Feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So maybe you're reluctant again to open up to someone. Maybe you just don't trust them. Maybe there's, this is from past experiences that you have had. Maybe, you know, baggage that you're, you know, carrying on into a new relationship that just needs to be destroyed, needs to be purged, needs to be melted and welded away. Um, you know, don't expose that onto someone else as that doesn't have to do anything with them. So I do want to send some love out and I hope that y'all do have a great, great week. Okay, much love.